Hey folks, thanks for joining for another session of D-Ray's Garage. Another short and sweet one for you here on the 2011 Grand Sport C6 Corvette where we put the car on a dyno and get some baseline figures out of it. Uh, some surprising ones at that, I'll be honest with you. So from there we'll talk about what potential changes could be made to the vehicle with the tuning guy and we'll take it from there. So watch, enjoy and we'll talk more after about those results. Hang tight. the stock mufflers and if you did like Cook's headers and either hypo cats or no cats with an X-pipe to the stock mufflers that will usually re yield really good highway driving like no drone inside idle is fairly quiet but when you're on throttle it sounds phenomenal um, I want a good sound I don't want it to break to the sound barrier if right, you know what I mean right right because I have autocross and I, I guess I could put down pipes in the back when I'm riding yeah you could do that as well you could also get um some sort of performance, you know, muffler, like axle back exhaust for it, whether it be like a Magnaflow. They're usually pretty tame on their sound, Magnaflow. Um, of course, uh, they have a couple different options, a louder one and a quieter one as well. That's good quality. Stainless work, stuff like that. But getting most power bang for your buck was is going to be headers. Usually you get like 40 plus wheel horsepower gains from headers in a tune. So that's the biggest yield for a dollar as far as modifications on these. I mean, so I think I want to stage this because okay. I got, I am, I'm not used to this amount of power. I'm driving the Boxster Spider, the beautiful around, but there's no force in it. So I want to get used to the power a little bit. I, it cut out on me. I mean, I lost the tail end the other day, just jumping on the highway. Yeah. So, and that was with all the nannies on. So I just got to get familiar before I up the power because that's just, so maybe I do back first for sound and then fix later for power. Is that right? If, if the that's, logical way to go, or if that's, you, is it just better to do it all in one and um, pick, your, pick your poison up front? So you would like to do it in the most logical stage yes. that will alleviate the least amount of dyno time cost for you. Right. So if you do extensive modifications, you will have to retune it. So we'll obviously we'll have to tune it for headers. Um, so if you did an intake with the headers at the same time, yeah, that was, yeah, the the tune, natural, then that yeah. cuts down on your dyno time. Um, changing the mufflers isn't going to change anything in the calibration of the ECU, right. so you don't have to reach I'm just mufflers. playing for years there, right? Right. So if you're looking for a specific sound, um, it might be a good thing. You can either start with the mufflers or you can start with like doing just an intake and header setup that you want and tune it and then see how loud it is. If you want it quieter, then you can look into whatever muffler down section there. you want. Yeah, absolutely. That might be. So what do you think of that, huh? So this is a 3,300 pound car, rear wheel drive, 
front engine, which the mid-engine guy is a change, and came off the line at 436 horsepower and 428 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. So I think somebody's done something here, um, besides remove the mufflers and all the other fun stuff that we've seen that was uh, maybe a little questionable in how the car is looking right now. But that was pretty impressive. If you take a look at the, uh, forgive me for looking down here, I've got the, the graph in front of me, it'll be easier for you to follow along on screen. But the curve looks fantastic on this, uh, on the horse, on the kind of the power gains as it moves up through the revs. You know, peak power is comes in around 6,448 uh, horsepower. And then you've got peak torque kicking in right around 4,500 RPMs. Um, but it's pretty, it's reasonably flat there between 3,500 and 5,000-ish. Um, and that kicks, uh, tops out, I should say, uh, right at 430 pounds. And that's both of the wheels. So we know something's been done. If any of you might have any uh, guesses outside of some kind of tune, uh, what might have been done, I'd be curious to, to hear your thoughts there so I don't replicate or send myself back in any modifications I may make. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the air-fuel ratio over here, he said it runs a hair rich, but nothing that would be problematic. And then just, just a great curve, just a great power curve. So all in all, barring some, or sorry, minus some odd fluid stuff with the car, I think we might have a good motor in there. So anyway, stick around. We'll talk more soon about this car. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe. You know all the, all the usual stuff. Um, you probably hear it so much it becomes white noise. I try not to ask every time, but I would appreciate it if you would minimally hit the like button. If you enjoyed this, definitely please subscribe, but more importantly, hit that bell. Because that bell will mean that I'll let you know whenever I've got videos coming out so you don't have to go looking anymore. How about that for handy? Anyway, folks, be memorable, be well, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.